Hello guys, in this video I'll try to pass stage 59, but this video is not about it, you'll see what skills I choose, how I aim and of course I will explain everything to you. But before I start I want to show you what level of equipments is the highest and how many you'll need for it. I think only a few saw it, in game we have fusing rules. So to have legendary relic or normal equipment you need two same epic and one different. And to have it honor you'll need two same legendary and three different. The highest level of honor is 4. For it you'll need 4 different honor equipments of the same type besides equipment you are upgrading. What can I say, you need 4 same epic equipments and 96 different of the same type. In total 100 epic equipments to have honor level 4 equipment. The first skill I choose is black hole ball. It's the best choice I had, this ball will help you especially with first rooms. But you should think where to aim, because in most cases it kills an enemy you are aiming at, so the trajectory of your balls will be different. The first thing you should do is to kill ranged enemies, because they take away your health from long distance. But don't forget about melee enemies, if there will be too many, then your balls won't touch many enemies. And finally I got great ball, instant kill ball. This ball can change everything. It can make you a spot or kill strong enemies. But this ball is very unpredictable. If you have such ball, try to aim at rows of enemies. If there is only one row and this ball kills an enemy from it, then all balls will come back and other enemies won't be touched. Missile ball is very powerful ball. It fires a missile to the weakest enemy. So we can ignore big enemies especially if they are far from you and focus on strong and rows of enemies. I also want to add that you always should have a spot to the opposite wall. As new enemies appear, they have higher health and attack, so it will be harder to kill them. And you should kill as many as you can with one shot.
Next skill I choose is Split Ball. It is only good when it stacks. It doesn't do high damage or anything else. But that was the best choice I had. You probably want to know how to aim better. Don't forget that you have two sides walls. If you can't reach your target, you can use another wall. Try to touch an enemy as many times as you can, especially with a missile ball. But if you have instant kill ball, try to touch many enemies, not one enemy many times. Sometimes, to reach your target you should stand in the right place. In this situation you can change it by shooting in the right place. But be very careful with it, think about damage you will receive and damage you will do after it. Because when you do your first shot, to change your place, in many cases you won't even kill an enemy, but if the second shot will do great damage or even kill all enemies, then it is worth it. I do it often because to win hard stages you should take a risk. You're probably wondering why I choose common fireball when my main enemy is flaming elf. I have another enemies besides this and with a high combo it will do high damage to skeletons vampires. You could see that sometimes I aim at enemies that are about to attack me and sometimes I aim at back enemies and let front enemies attack me, like skeletons. When I see that front enemies won't kill me and I'll kill many enemies behind, I don't aim at front enemies and aiming at back. As I said, new enemies have higher health and attack, so if you let them go on you, after a few waves, you'll probably die. And what to do if you don't have a spot to attack enemies from behind? All depends on which balls you have. I have instant kill ball and black hole ball, which can kill and does high damage to enemy I am aiming at. Without them, a frozen ball is good. It can freeze an enemy and he won't move, when another enemies will go ahead. So we can have a spot.
Guys, I'm so lucky to get Shadow Clone skill. With it, I have a chance to pass this stage. If I'll get a Frozen Ball, then I'll have higher chance to win almost 100. Without Frozen Ball on so hard stages, you have very small chance to win. Let's watch if I'll get it. I hope you like this video and want more like this. And the last skill I get isn't Frozen Ball. Unfortunately, it's not a Frozen Ball, so I'll probably lose again, but I don't surrender yet. And final boss, Flaming Elf. If you have Frozen Ball, it isn't hard to beat bosses, you just freeze them and do it till he or she dies. But without it, you should kill mobs to recover your health and do damage to boss. Don't focus on boss without Frozen Ball, because he can easily kill you. That's why you should kill many mobs to recover your health.
And yes guys, I passed this stage, next stage 60. I hope this video will help you with hard stages and you'll pass all 100 stages.